911 calls for help led to several bodies linked to the Gilgo Beach murders. After a long legal fight, for the first time, we're hearing what's on those tapes. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan is live in Suffolk County with more information on uh, one of the, well, nation's most notorious cold cases. Jen? Dana, good evening. More than 11 years since escort Shannon Gilbert went missing here. Suffolk investigators say they have nothing to hide, no smoking guns, and have released all three 911 calls made the night of her disappearance. The Gilgo Beach serial killer investigation into 10 unsolved deaths was sparked here in the early hours of May 1st, 2010. Sex worker Shannon Gilbert's call lasted 21 minutes. I was inside the house. What house? I don't know. Can you show who I am? Her Craigslist client and her driver, both on the call, are heard trying to calm her and were later cleared of any wrongdoing. It was police attempts to find Gilbert that led to the discovery a quarter mile away of the Gilgo Four homicide victims, also sex workers, wrapped in burlap. Remains of other victims were subsequently discovered along Ocean Parkway in one of the country's most infamous unsolved murder cases. Gilbert left her Craigslist client's house, but did not get into the car with her driver as she runs towards other homes. Two neighbors called 911. There's a young girl about 14 years old running around here screaming, and there's some guy trying to follow her. She said she's in danger. You know her or not? No, I don't. I'm not letting her in. The public release of the calls is a complete reversal of previous Suffolk police policy. We have determined that at this time, the release of the audio will not impede the investigation in this case anyway. In the early days, Suffolk investigators publicly feuded over theories of the case. One killer, three killers, or more. Don't release the 911 calls. Petty jealousy severed relationships with the FBI. Investigators believe Gilbert ran away, got lost in the reeds and water. It's undetermined. Our opinion is that it's an accident. But the attorney for the Gilbert says his private autopsy revealed strangulation. Their pride is at stake. The blue wall is at stake, and what they're hiding, God only knows. Gilbert's attorney says the family wanted the courtesy of first listening to Shannon's audio tape before it was released to the public. We're live tonight along Ocean Parkway, Gilgo Beach to our west, Oak Beach here. I'm Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Dana, back to you. Thank you, Jennifer. I